Welcome to our FB page na free reviewer is managed by Luna Lin at ang video ito ay uploadin natin sa ating YouTube channel na Solving Math with Luna Lin. Now, let's do numerical reasoning na itong numerical reasoning na ito ay actual na lumabas sa dating civil service exam. Now, ang makakonfirm lang naman na lumabas ito ay yung mga dating nag-take na. Pero tandaan, when it comes to mathematics, never memorize the answers because that will never help you. Kundi yung paraan kung paano natin ito sinagutan. Na example lang, yung mga regarding sa ratio na to, kung na-practice nyo ito before, tapos isa ka sa nag-take ng exam, na ang mga questions ay kalintulad nito, malamang masasagutan mo to. Anyway, let's do number 19. Dito tayo sa ratio. Naalala ko lang, dati rin, lumabas din yung ratio. As in, halos lahat ng mga exams mayroong mga ratio. So, kabisaduhin nyo lang kung paano ito sagutan. Number 19, a group of 36 people has 5 is to 7 ratio of children and adults. How many children and adults are there? Let's do solution number 1. Doon tayo sa mga choices. Choice A, 12 to 24, yan ay 1 is to 2. Choice B, 15 is to 21, ito ang 5 is to 7. At ang total naman dito ay 36, kaya ito na yung sagot. By the way, sa actual na exam, oras ang kalaban nyo. Kaya pwede na kayong mag-proceed. Pero anyway, pagpatuloy lang natin to. 16 by 20, ang ratio nito ay 4 is to 5. Dito naman, baliktad lang, 5 is to 4. At ito ay, yung 21 at 15, this is 7 is to 5. Ito yung importante. Paano ba gawin yung ratio, ma'am? Or paano mag-simplify? Example itong choice A, 12 is to 24. Paano yan simplify? Hanapin lang yung greatest common factor which is 12. Kaya 12 divided by 12, this is 1. 24 divided by 12 and this is 2. Isa pa, yung 15 is to 21. Yung greatest factor naman yan ay 3. 15 divided by 3 and that is 5. 21 divided by 3, this is 7. Anyway, let's proceed sa solution number 2 natin. Children, adults. So, isulat natin itong children at si adults. Yung ratio nila ay 5 is to 7. So, kada limang children may 7 na adults. Yan ay 12. Isa pang kada limang children may 7 na adults, ang total na dyan ay 24. Isa pang limang children, 7 na adults, ang total dito ay 36. So therefore, para sagutin yung tanong how many children and adults are there, 5 plus 5 plus 5, this is 15. I-add din natin to and this is 21. Kaya ang sagot dito, 15 and 21. That are B. Let's do solution number 3. 36 divided by the sum sa ratio na 5 and 7. So, unahin natin yung sum. Third, itong nasa loob ng parenthesis natin. 5 plus 7, this is 12. So, 36 divided by 12 equals 3. Yang 3 na yan, i-multiply natin sa 5 para sa children. So, 5 times, wait, this is 3 times 5 equals 15. So, yan yung sa children. Then, i-multiply natin sa 7. 3 times 7, 21. Yan naman sa adults. Isa pang way sa pag-solve dito, so solution number 4, pero parehong-pareho lang din sa ginawa natin dito sa solution number 3. Let n, para sa 
common number na i-multiply natin sa ratio na to. So, we have 5n plus 7n equals 36. Now, since mga like terms yan siya, i-add lang natin. 5n plus 7n, this is 12n. Then, equals 36. Para na makuha natin yung value ni n, since 12 ay pang multiply sa n, pang divide na siya sa 36. In other words, na divide and 12 to both sides para makancel yan siya, n na lang ang natira. n equals 36 divided by 12, this is 3. So, meron na tayong value ni n. 5n means 5 times 3 kasi may value na nga tayo ni n. So, this is equal to 15. Yan yung children. Next, 7n. So, ang value ni n ay 3. 7 times 3 equals 21. Yan naman sa number of adults. Papansin nyo, parihong-pariho lang din ito sa ginawa natin dito sa solution number 3. Next, number 20. Again, ito ay dating lumabas. So, ganito lang kasimple yung tanong. A business organization sold 10,000 pieces of its products at 5 pesos each. If the total expenses incurred for producing each product is 3 pesos, what shall be the profit of the business organizations? Pagdating sa mathematics, huwag nyo lang pangunahan ng takot. Ganito lang siya kasimple, i-minus mo lang. 5 minus 3 equals 2. Yan yung ginansya. Kada product. Each. Each product. Yan yung ginansya. Now, a business organization sold 10,000 pieces. So, i-multiply mo lang yung 2 na yan by 10,000 and this is equal to 20,000 pesos. So, ang sagot dito ay itong letter D. Thank you for watching and all I hope mayroon kayong naintindihan sa video ito. Thank you and God bless.